it is completely washed out. It is one of the main routes that gets you to and from Littleton to Dalton, and that's a north and southbound route. And right now, you can actually hear the water still rushing. We see huge piles of the heavy concrete, the cement completely collapsed. We're talking about heavy rocks and all the debris that's washed along with it, a tree included. Uh, it's a very, I'd say, hilly terrain. And so what they are telling me is that when all the rain came in, of course, it had nowhere else to go but down and through uh, the mountain terrain. So that's kind of what we're seeing. So video that you're seeing is actually from last night. Crews worked to try to keep the water and the debris away, but sadly, not long after this video was taken, the road completely buckled. With the amount of damage, it will take crews some time before the main routes can be repaired. As for the back roads, though, which there are a lot of, Dalton's Fire Chief Ron Sheltry says about 97% were washed out. This was crazy, crazy. Washouts everywhere. Almost every road in town was washed out. And it started coming out of the mountains, and of course it's trying to get from the mountains across this area to the Connecticut River and the roads in between. And at one point, I mean, we were driving on roads and you could look down the road and there was just, just water just shooting right up over the road. A complete loss for portions of the road and for the driveway right behind me. That's actually a family's house and they can't even get out. This is a dirt road. It's going to take crews a long time to get the repairs done. Hopefully they can get some of those repairs working on it this evening. But for the main route, like 35, it won't be done tonight or in the next coming weeks. But there were two water rescues. Luckily, no injuries were reported. In fact, the fire captain having to get a ride to and from scenes by a tractor because of the roads, they were so buckled kind of like what we have seen over here with this bridge. So um, he also says that the town has really stepped up in offering help and aid to some of the people who are in uh, need because they were trapped by some of the water, like what you're seeing right there. Uh, he says that it's really good to see them step up and they think highway crews will be actually having the back roads at least passable by later tonight. But like Route 30, 135, like I'm standing on, it will be a longer time. Reporting in Dalton, I'm Emily Pike for Maine's Total Weather. Back to you.